for me the turning point of my career was joining McKinsey and Company fairly early in my journey. I have a lot of respect for uh, the way they have built the organization and the way they nurture their people. I learned a lot of things, uh, but the most important learning for me was the problem solving skills. Uh, you can be put in any situation uh, and you analyze the problem deeply, you break it down into components, you prioritize your action items and then you have a very structured approach towards solving any problem that you face. Uh, that has been the biggest takeaway for me there. Yeah, so for me, uh, the turning point in my career was when I graduated from my college. Uh, I uh, joined uh, Abhirup in his venture at Taskbog. Uh, that was the time when I got a taste of entrepreneurship and then realized uh, what uh, the, the impact which we can have uh, on the people around me. Uh, that was the point when, when I decided that I don't want to join uh, companies like FAM, which was fairly easy for me uh, coming from a IIT background. Uh, so yeah, that basically gave me an, uh, uh, a passion uh, to, uh, to embark on an entrepreneurship journey. Uh, the most difficult problem that I faced uh, was at Velocity, for example, when we started four years back, uh, we were the new kid on the block and uh, being able to strike partnerships with big marketplaces uh, was a big challenge because uh, they had established programs, these are large organizations to, to, to navigate and we did not really have a lot of credibility at that point of time. Uh, and the way we overcame that was just through persistent efforts. Uh, we deeply understood what they really care about and also built an understanding of what the existing lenders were not able to offer. And that combined with just persistence is how we eventually cracked these partnerships. I am very proud to share that today we are partners with four out of the top five e-commerce marketplaces in the country and that is a big source of demand for us. Uh, for me, the biggest problem which I faced uh, was uh, hiring the best people from the market and retaining them. Uh, as a startup founder, it becomes really difficult when you are constrained with the resources, uh, like the money which you can pay, uh, you don't have a much of a brand value out there in the market. Uh, and that has been a challenge for uh, us since the beginning. Uh, and I believe the same challenge is there with a, a lot of startups out there. Uh, I won't say that uh, we have uh, overcome that fully, uh, but yeah, it's a journey. Uh, we have been able to hire some of the good people from our networks. So uh, who I truly idolize as an entrepreneur is Elon Musk, uh, that for the sheer audacity of the things that he picks to work on. In particular, the work that he has done at SpaceX and Tesla is truly uh, defining the future for humanity. And that just inspires me to think bigger every single day. Uh, I idolize uh, Bhavi Turakia, who has been the brain behind uh, some of the big companies in India like Flock, Directi. Uh, and uh, uh, what I really like about him is that the way he has been able to manage his time and run multiple businesses uh, right from scratch. The advice that I would have for younger entrepreneurs uh, would be that be long term oriented. I think it's, an, it's a fairly underrated competitive advantage because most decisions get taken with a fairly short term mindset and people give up too soon. Uh, just being long term oriented and just being persistent is therefore a, a significant boost to your odds of winning. Uh, my advice would be that uh, there is no uh, good point to start a company. Uh, you will never be exactly ready to start a new company. So take a plunge if you are passionate about something idea you will learn on the go.